In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HI plus NaOH, hydroiodic acid plus sodium hydroxide. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation and it's already balanced, so we're done with that. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. This chart here can be helpful when we're looking at acids and bases. We have an acid and a base here. We look down, here's HI. Hydroiodic acid is a strong acid. That means it's also a strong electrolyte and it'll dissociate into its ions, we call that aqueous. Sodium hydroxide, strong base. It's a strong electrolyte and will dissociate into its ions. Over here we have sodium iodide, so that's gonna be soluble. Sodium compounds are soluble and water is a liquid. So we have the states. Next, we're gonna split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So strong electrolytes like HI, sodium hydroxide, and sodium iodide. So hydrogen group one on the periodic table, one plus the iodide ion, one minus. So I have H plus, I'll write aqueous at the end, I won't write that now, plus I minus, plus sodium group one, and the whole hydroxide ion is a one minus. So we have Na plus, plus the hydroxide ion, OH minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we'll have our sodium ion here, Na plus. Then we'll have the iodide ion, I minus. And then with net ionic equations, we don't split liquids apart, so we just have H2O. This is the complete or total ionic equation. Next, we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of this complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're really not interested in them. We have the iodide ion here in the reactants and in the products. Let's just cross that out. And the sodium ion, cross that out. And what's left, this is the net ionic equation for HI plus NaOH. I'll clean it up and write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for hydroiodic acid plus sodium hydroxide. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a positive and a negative those cancel out to give us a neutral compound. And we have one, two hydrogens here, two here, one oxygen and one oxygen. So mass is also conserved. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.